Hi there, and hopefully you've seen a few of our earlier videos on logging and diagnostics in Oracle Mobile Cloud Service and gained an insight into this feature. Now in this episode, I'm going to do something a little bit different and take you through a few worked examples which might be regarded as typical use cases of how you investigate and diagnose a problem using logging and diagnostic features of Oracle MCS. So thank you for joining me. My name is Grant Ronald and I'm from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. So let's take our first scenario. You're an MCF service developer and you've built some mobile services that you're currently testing. In this example, your services are for a mobile music service and specifically the management of different musical playlists. So you've developed a mobile backend called Music Hub and that MBE makes use of an API you've developed called Playlist Manager. Playlist Manager has a number of endpoints for managing a playlist. So you can get all the playlists, or you can get a specific playlist, or post an image to represent the playlist. Having developed this API, you're starting to test it and you find a few issues. So let's see how you can use the logging and diagnostics features to help you diagnose the issues and hopefully fix the problem. So here we are in the MCS console and you can see the Playlist Manager API. Let's test this API to make sure it's working correctly. So firstly, I test the Get Playlists endpoint and it returns a list of playlists and a 200 status code indicating a success. Here you can see the payload return, which is a JSON object showing a number of playlists with the unique IDs. So this looks to be working correctly. Now let's test the endpoint that returns a specific playlist. In this case, I call the get playlist endpoint with a playlist ID of 101, which as we saw earlier, is a valid playlist. In this case, if we look at the response, we can see a 200 status, so the response is showing OK. However, the return payload is empty. Even though I supplied a valid playlist ID, I'm not getting the information I expected. We need to use the MCS diagnostic logs to see if we can find out where the problem is occurring and what we can do to fix it. Now, given our API is running in the context of a mobile backend, let's have a look at the diagnostics for the Music Hub mobile backend. So you can see there are no errors indicated on the dashboard, so we need to look a little bit deeper. If I click on the request to see all of the request logs, then I'm not seeing any 400 or 500 errors. So let's have a look at any 200 status codes. When I do that, I can see a couple of calls that were made through this back end. Here's my call to the Get Playlists endpoint, which returned the playlists. And here is the call to Get Playlist that returned a 200 status, but didn't include the playlist information that I was expecting. So let's drill into the Get Playlist endpoint to see if there's any more information that gives insight into this problem. Here you can see details about the request, it's the correct API inversion being called, the parameters as we expect, and the status code is 200. So there's nothing here that's particularly showing up as a problem. But what I can do is use the request correlation ID to show me any other logs which are related to this request. So let's click on the request correlation ID and see if we get any additional information. Now at this point, we're not seeing any additional log messages, so this suggests I probably need to crank up the logging level just a little bit. Doing this will enable MCS to start recording more and more logs, including any logging messages that I might have developed into my custom code. So let me set logging level to finest, and let's rerun my test. We click here, here we are, we just, we click here, Now when I look at the get request and then drill into the log details, I can select the request correlation ID. And now you can see I have a number of log messages that were related to this get request. Now I can start looking through those logs for anything unusual. 
The messages you see here include any messages logged by the developer in the custom code. And here we have something which looks a little bit unusual. The playlist ID is being output as 101 ID. So the string ID is being appended to the code 101. So there's something not right in the playlist API implementation. So let's take a look at that code. First we'll search or find that console message. Here we can see we're getting the ID parameter from the request. Ah, but here we're adding a suffix of ID which isn't correct. So that's a problem. We need to change the code such that my ID is simply the playlist ID. Now to save time, I'll jump ahead in time where the code has been fixed and uploaded into MCS. Now on retesting the API, you can see that on entering an ID of 101, that is now returning the correct playlist. Problem solved. Okay, so that was an example of using diagnostic logs to trace an issue that was found in the custom code. Let's look at another very quick example. Again, here we're using a playlist manager API, but in this example, we'll be calling a post image endpoint. And in this implementation for demonstration purposes, it should return an image. And here we are back in the API tester. And I'm going to test post image. I input an ID of 101 and test. And as you can see, after a few seconds, the service returns a 404 status code, which indicates that the server couldn't find the requested resource. Let's try a few more times just in case. So as you might expect, we need to go back to our mobile backend and take a look at the diagnostics again. Now immediately I can see that the system health is showing an amber warning and I can also see that I have a few 400 errors being reported. So I'll drill into the request logs and here I can see a number of entries showing 404 errors. Now since we called this service multiple times we are seeing many messages. So let's just select the first message and then select the request correlation ID to show only logs relating to this one request. Reading from the bottom up, I can see a call to the API, then a message from the custom code that it's invoking a connector, a call to a request, then a system message indicating that the REST service call returned a 404. Okay, let's look at that message now. There we can see the full message and it's suggesting I check the endpoint of the REST service to see if it's behaving correctly. Okay, so that's quite useful information. Let's take a look at the next message. Ah, here I can actually see what was being called. As you can see, the log is telling me that a REST connector to this machine was being called. And here I can see the GET request. I think at this point, I suggested it might make sense to test that end resource. So the simplest thing to do would be to call up the resource in a browser just to check. Okay, so when I input the resource URL, I'm also getting a not found error. So this is telling me that that resource is not available or maybe possibly the URL is incorrect. And in fact, after a quick discussion with my DevOps team, I realized that the resource should in fact be this URL instead. As you can see, I was missing a forward slash. So now we've confirmed the correct URL. We need to see where MCS was using this. Well, back in MCS, I can see that the call was being made in a REST connector. And if I look at my previous message logs, I can see the name of the connector was Music Image Provider. So let's take a look at that connector. And if I open the connector and look at the general configuration, I can see the remote URL isn't correct 
and so we need to fix this. On this, once we've done that, we can retest the API, which we can do now. We click here, look here. And as you can see, it returns a 200. All is working as expected. So that's been a very quick insight into a couple of very typical use cases of how you can use logging and diagnostics in Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. Thank you very much for watching.